So before geology was used to find oil and gas, the only way of really finding oil and gas was was guessing or the really first wells that were ever produced uh, were because they saw oil and gas seeping from the ground and they so they knew it was already there in that area. But otherwise, um, without geology, you know, we, we wouldn't have a very high success rate because it would all just be completely random. Um, but the very first oil field that was ever found using geology was actually the El Dorado oil field. Finding oil is a, is a, a very extensive process. Um, usually it involves uh, with a geologist um, mining through loads and loads of, of data. Some of that data maybe even being 60, 70, 80, even, even older, years old. And then taking that data from old wells um, to help us get an idea of the, of the subsurface in that area. And then we use that data to pinpoint of an area that maybe we think uh, there's something going on or, or maybe there's some oil there that no one else has found yet. And then we use that data to, to further into a process and maybe we might shoot 3D seismic. Maybe we might just use the subsurface maps that a geologist creates. And then we uh, have to drill a well. The only way to find oil is to drill a well. And uh, even then it's, it's, it's never a sure bet. So, so you never know if you have a producing well um, until it's pretty much on the pump jack and producing. There are things that we do. We, we can test the zone while we're drilling. Uh, we can use rock descriptions and we can use uh, some logs that we take right after we drill the well and use all those things to help us in our decision because it'll almost double the cost of that well or maybe even over double the cost of that well to try to produce it after we drill it. So we get to the bottom of the hole and then we, we come to a big decision. Are we going to try to produce this or not? Do we think that we can be economical by producing this well?